Hi my wonderful peeps. <laughs> it's been a while. Again. I wrote about it on Twitter. Follow me. But hi! <laughs> Today we're doing something a little different, which I have been wanting to do since I got my first wigs. But yeah, I'm gonna do like a wig collection video because I do have a ton of wigs. <laughs> I have I have an issue. Wigs, makeup, and games. Three big issues. <laughs> I'm not even mad about it. But this video, we're doing a uni wigs only because I have legitimately 11 wigs from uni wigs. And if I was gonna like plop in the few others I have from other companies, this video would be like 30 minutes long and we don't want that. <laughs> so we're just gonna do a uni wigs on wigs and show off my collection because I have 11 wigs and I have a new one actually that uni wigs were so kind to send me and I'm so excited to show you guys and I also get to give you guys tips on how to put it on and how to style it. I'm not good at showing it because to be honest I'm very bad at it. You would think with that many wigs I would be good at it. Mm -mm. <laughs> I'm not so don't take my advice. Do what I do and YouTube other people that actually are pretty fucking good at wigs, okay? Okay, good. <laughs> For starters, I like do get a few questions. Um, one, with this mane of hair, why the frick do I get so many wigs? <laughs> why the fuck do I spend my money on so many wigs when I do have a mane? Literally a mane. I'm gonna show you guys. Look at how thick this is. I do have a mane. <laughs> The reason is that this is like kind of my natural hair color. It's a little lighter than this, but it's pretty much black. Uh, bleaching it and getting it to different colors destroys my hair. <laughs> I did it a lot in teens, like during my teens, and I don't regret it, but I wish I didn't do it as much <laughs> because now I can't. So wigs are a very good outlet. Uh, two, I hate washing my hair because it takes literally 24 hours to dry because it's so thick with three C's and a silent Q. So I don't always want to wash my hair. Uh, three, I'm a makeup addict. I love changing my eye color. As you guys can see in some of my pictures, I love changing my hair color. I love even changing my skin color at times and having wigs to complement it is very helpful. <laughs> so I'm kind of in the like small cosplay category. I'm not fully into cosplay yet. <laughs> Maybe one day. So that's also one of the reasons uh, I like wigs. And now recently I've had a new reason to have wigs and that is because I have a bald spot after my surgery. <laughs> it's growing out though. Look, look, look at this little bald spot. And it's making me a little insecure. So on days I feel very bad, I just put on a wig and I feel confident and I feel pretty. And yeah, like wigs are the best. <laughs> so that's why. Other questions I get is how I get my hair under the wigs. Uh, well, it's not easy. Um, I usually braid them downwards on like I split it in half and I braid it downwards like Dutch braids kind of and then I just wrap them in the back uh, I can't do that today because I don't have the small little wrappy thingies that I need I only had the like big thick boys thingies that you put in your hair I can't words today can you tell <laughs> so today what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a wig cap on and just smush it so it's as flat as possible and then just hope for the best because I am trying on 11 wigs so I don't really want to do it properly if that makes sense. I'll make a proper video on how I do it one day. Not now because I'm trying on 11 wigs and I'm gonna rip them off and suddenly one of the fucking things I'm gonna rip off and y y you guys know. <laughs> Let's get into the wigs because that's why you guys are here. <laughs> Look at this pretty packaging. It got dented in the mail and I'm so sad. <laughs> but yeah, this is how the wig comes. So yeah, it just comes in... Uh, it used to before actually be a white uh, pack like this. Now it's black and I like the black a little bit better. It's more like bougie. <laughs> it looks more fancy with black and gold. I don't know why. But 
yeah, Uniwigs. I found them by Googling, um, I think I Googled affordable lace front wigs because I had gotten other wigs that weren't lace front and I kept seeing people with lace front wigs and I really wanted those because they look more natural, they look very pretty uh, and you could literally fool your mom if you wanted to and I did. <laughs> so that's when I found this brand and I looked through their site. I think I found five wigs like immediately that I was like okay I need these in my life. So <laughs> that's when I started wishing for wigs for my birthday and stuff and I think it was my birthday I got five wigs from Uniwigs, the five I actually wanted. I don't think all of them are still getting sold. I'm gonna put that out there as just a disclaimer that some of the wigs I'm gonna show aren't getting sold anymore. So you have been warned. <laughs> but I will still show them off because it is from the brand. Uh, so yeah, then I got them and of course I was nervous, like you're always nervous because these wigs are not cheap, but they are very good. Mine has lasted for over a year at this point. And uh, as long as you take care of them well, it shouldn't be an issue. <laughs> I'll teach you how to take care of it, don't worry. Uh, so yeah. By the way, this video is not sponsored. <laughs> Do I look like I could be sponsored? Excuse me. <laughs> but yeah, it comes in a package like this and it's like wrapped with this little paper. And then take it off and you get the wig itself in here. And it's in like a stocking netting type thing to protect it. And don't throw that away. Don't throw the box and basically everything that's in it because you will have to use it for storage. This is how you store wigs properly, in my opinion. There might be other ways to store it, like bags and stuff. But this is pretty good. Yeah, in this box, we get the wig itself. I'm gonna let you chill. We get, uh, this thing was on the wig, I took it off. Uh, it's basically, there's a little pamphlet that says how you should take care of it, how you should brush it, how you should wash it, etc. which is which is very useful. Um, then you get some extra clips in case your fall off, which is pretty useful because I have had a few where, not from Uniwix actually, I've had a few from others and I've used these clips to fix them, which is pretty handy. Or when I bought like super cheap wigs, <laughs> then these are very handy, so these are good. And then you get two sets of netted wig caps. Um, let me put this down. Uh, so like these wig caps where they're like stocking, you get a skin colored one and a black one. You can use which one you want. These have like a hole at the top, so you kind of have it around here and then you pull it up. Uh, so this is one sort of wig cap. And then I have another type which I like a little better, which is this. It's like a stocking and it doesn't have a hole. And yeah, it's just a little easier for me to use considering I have very thick hair. Then I like these better, but those are very good as well. But yeah, this is the wig. This is one of the newest wigs. I got it sent for free because they're fucking angels and I'm so happy. It was literally a dream come true when they were like, oh, do you want a wig? I was like, huh? <laughs> me? Are you talking to me? They were like, yeah, you, you can pick which one you want. And then they suddenly asked me, do you want one we haven't released yet? And I got this baby, and it's so pretty. Uh, it doesn't pick up much on camera, but it's like a rose goldy color. Ah, uh, you can see it a little bit better now. It's like a rose goldy from a natural like root, which I really like. These you can fool people with, hundred <laughs> percent. But yeah, it comes in the netting. Uh, you take the netting off. Remember, save it. It's very good to have these and wrap them back in when you are storing the wigs because it keeps like the hairs safe and not as tangly, which is pretty useful. But yeah, this, keep it, put it in your little box. And then you get this as well, uh, this little thing, which you usually get in shoes when you buy shoes. And it's kind of the same purpose, it's making it not flat, which is very good. So keep this as well, don't throw this. Be a good boy. And then you have the wig itself. Mine was a little like 
hooked because it's a little like that, but I brushed it out earlier, so it's now more loose. But if you get a wig and it looks very, very like rounded, curly, don't worry about it. Just brush it out with your hands, and it turns out to this like wavy, beautiful, like so cute thing. It smells good. <laughs> After that, you have um, I haven't cut off the lace yet, so I can show you. But you have a lace here, which you need to cut. You can't leave it be because like the lace will literally touch down here. Um, I'm not good at doing this here because I don't have a mirror and my bathroom is way too small to film in. Hopefully when I move to Danish land I have a better bathroom. <laughs> as you can see here you have like the line and you just cut as closely to it as you can. It doesn't need to be straight. Uh, because uh, the straighter you cut it, the more fake it can look. I also suggest that if you feel like it looks too full, because if you see here, okay, my hair is pretty full because I have so thick hair. I don't really need to pluck it to make it believable, but like hairlines aren't usually very, very thick, so you can pluck it to make it more believable and kind of shape it to be like more as your hairline. And you can pluck like here if you want like a bigger parting to make it more believable as well you can do whatever there are tons of youtube videos out there that will show you properly how to do it i'm not good at this <laughs> i just kind of cut the lace i sometimes pluck a little bit if it's too like and then i just put it on but yeah so just Cut the lace off as close as you can. It doesn't need to be perfect because you can cover it a little bit with makeup as well um, to kind of hide the fact. So it's nothing to worry about. But at least this is the wig and when you cut off the lace it's basically ready to be put on and I have a few tips on how to put it on as well. Um, so um, before I put this on and show you the rest of the wigs and stuff and give you like a little review. I'm gonna give you a review when I put this on because I know how all the other songs, I don't need to give you separate reviews on all of the wigs. Uh, it's just like a whole review on how I like them after I put this on to show you guys. Um, but after you have gotten your wig cap on, I, what I usually do is I use this and I flatten down like my baby hairs here and kind of push it back. Uh, under the wig cap uh, So this will help it stick. This is basically glued in a bottle <laughs> uh, So use this and you can also use it to put down the lace But I would suggest using the cream version of this. I don't have it laying around right now But I can insert a picture right here of how it looks like but it's basically the same yellow It's just glued on it and you just smear it a little bit you push it down and you can either put a bandana and tighten it or you can use uh, your hair dryer to kind of melt it into it and it will literally stick. So yeah, it won't fall off. You can wear it to parties if you want. So that's kind of my tips on that. But just get your hair as flat as possible, glue it the side down and put it on and just hold it for a second to let it glue properly and then it's, it's stuck. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go put this on, then I'm gonna tell you guys why I would recommend Uniwigs. Hi! So this is the wig on. It's so cute. I actually wanna cry. Oh, it's so adorable. Look at it. And it looks very natural as well. Not like with the direct freaking lights everywhere, because it is a little bit shiny. A trick for that, dry shampoo. <laughs> and yeah, you can put like some concealer here to make it more believable. Uh, I haven't glued mine down, so I can't do this without showing. But if you glue it down, you can put it up, you can style it, you can do whatever you want. It's so versatile. I love lace front wigs. If I could, I would have all the lace front wigs in the world, but that's expensive. <laughs> but yeah, at least this is how this wig looks on me. It's very cute very pretty 
I really, really like it. It's more rose gold IRL. Uh, I am using like artificial lighting because in Norway it's grey outside. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, I went very close to the hairline. I haven't plucked it because, as I said, I don't tend to usually need to pluck my wigs due to I have a strong, thick mane usually. <laughs> But this is how it looks, it's so cute. Oh, I love it. Thank you so much, Uniwix, for sending me this so I can show it to my peeps and try it on. And I'm I'm, I'm gonna wear this a lot. This 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 is beautiful. I can't have this hair color naturally, so th this is fun. <laughs> but yeah, it's so pretty. Now before I show you the rest of the wigs, because I'm not gonna talk during that section, I'm just gonna let it slide and show you how beautiful all the wigs are. <laughs> uh, I don't know the name of this yet. I'll write it somewhere here. I also link all the wigs down below. I don't have an affiliate link. I don't have an affiliate code, sadly. <laughs> but at least you get to find the wigs and you can see if you want to purchase them. But at least what do I like about them? Um, they're comfy, they're soft, they're very soft. They feel almost 100% like real hair, which freaked me out the first time because I was like touching it and I was like, I didn't buy a real hair wig. I can't afford that. <laughs> but then it's just very good fake hair, which is soft and it's easy to like just run your hands through and it's so pretty and it's easy to style. So yeah, the only thing is that it can be a little shiny with like lights like this. <laughs> um, so if you're taking flash photography, what I'm kind of doing now, I have like lights on me, uh, maybe some dry shampoo, at least up here just to make it more like natural looking. But other than that, I have no complaints. I can go out like this and I would be a happy woman. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, other things like what would I recommend it? Uh, if you love wigs, if you love changing your hair color but you don't want to commit, if you're into cosplay, if you're just into like fashion stuff and you would like to have the option to change your hair, 100% would recommend this brand. I have already recommended it to a friend of mine who bought actually a few wigs. Uh, I think it was one or two wigs she bought and she actually asked for my opinion personally because I have so many wigs and then I immediately said I would recommend Udian wigs because they have so many pretty wigs, it's great quality, you get a lot in the box that will help uh, you because there are instructions in the in this little thing <laughs> where it like says like care instructions which are very useful for like my first lace front wigs wear from uni wigs I didn't know how to take care of these and now I know because of this this is very handy yeah it also says that you can flat iron these but they can't be on like a very high setting they have to be very very low because if not they will be damaged so be careful with that so if you buy a curly wig it's gonna be curly <laughs> I love this brand I'm not sponsored, getting paid, or anything to say this. This was a like a wig thing I was gonna talk about anyway, if they had sent me one or not. I just got happy that they sent me one, so I threw myself around and did it to show you guys the beautiful new wig. But that's 100% my, my opinions. Nothing getting paid or anything. And now I'm gonna show you the rest of the 10 wigs I have, and I hope you like them. Comment down below which one is your favorite, because I have so many. <laughs> So, yeah, I'll comment down below which one is my favorite too. This one might be it, but I also have another favorite, so. But again, disclaimer, some of them are not on sale anymore. I'll write in the description box which one are on sale and which are like not. I'll put timestamps and put the link to it if it's still in stock. If it isn't, I'm sorry. I can't do anything about it but they do have a lot of beautiful wigs so you should definitely go check it out and yeah I'm rambling on too much enjoy this musical setting with wigs okay bye <laughs>